Hi everyone, Coyote Montana here. And you might be wondering, is it bad to build a, a shop and a house over a cemetery and church? Well, here's the answer. Yes, it's bad. Because my dad and I were actually talking about this, and I actually found this out on Jay Sage's channel before it was deleted, is that when Jay was doing the, the picture thing, cha this challenge was something with the pictures, it actually, I actually noticed something. I actually f noticed this on YouTube, but take a look at this. Take, take a look at the video I actually paused. You see this? What you, what you see here is that, is that when Jay actually found this Dybbuk box in this house, it shows a, a picture of a demon right there at a church, which is around May 24th, 1904. Now that was many, 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 many years ago before my parents and I were around, and my grandparents. But, my great-grandparents were around when that happened. You see, this church right here was actually torn down, and, and that's where the cemetery is at, and that's where the demon actually comes from. So, the house that Jay Station was in, that he actually moved out, uh, starting to fade, that house that he was in, it was actually built on top of a church. And that is really, really bad. Because if a house or a shop is built on, on top of a church and a cemetery, it can get possessed. And it's really, really bad. I mean, I mean, it's so bad because that's, where, that's why these things are inside of a, of a, of a, Dybbuk, a Dybbuk box. Which I'll talk about. Well, it's going to be hard, but I'm actually going to need my dad's help for this. So yeah, so this is what happens. When you when there's a church there and a cemetery, do not and I repeat, do not build a house or a shop or anything on top of it. Because if you if it gets possessed, you're toast. This is why it's best is to build it at a perfect spot, like an actual spot that is not haunted. Just leave the church and the cemeteries alone. And besides, when my parents and I passed pass by a bunch of churches, they've been always they've been always they've been there for many many years, and they they've never been torn down. And the reason why is because they stay there where where they belong. And that's why that there's a Dybbuk box that's in the house, probably just to keep all keep the spirits and demons in there. That's why they're, they, they have in there is like a bunch of pictures and rocks and sand and dirt from the, from the buildings and everything. But hey, I'm just glad that I would never move into a house that would, that's why I would never move into a house that was built on top of a church and cemetery. Because it's bad, because if I actually enter in there, hauntings will happen. Yes. Ghosts and spirits will actually roam around the place. So I'd rather go to a house which is safe and not haunted. So yeah. So building a house and a shop on top of a, top of a church and cemetery is really, really bad. So be warned. Because if it happens, God can't even save you from that. Unless you get out of there and move to a new house. Or probably tore down that house and just... Leave, ev leave everything blank. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like, send some comments, and hit the bell button for brand new videos, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, everyone.